Hello, this is Mrs. Holmes here to teach you how to blabberize a photograph. The first step, if you haven't done it already, is to sign up. It's a quick procedure. You're going to use your username is going to be your computer number. Now I am using a student's computer number right now and if it's your computer number just make sure you know you do not need to register so look at that number closely now your email is going to be your computer number the at sign shift add number two albany dot k12 dot ny dot us so look at that carefully, albany.k12.ny.us. Mrs. Holmes should have it posted up around the room so that you can see that and type it easily. Just to make it easy, use your password as the same password that you do for your computer login. It's probably going to be your birthday. If this is your computer number, please see Mrs. Holmes for your password. Now you're going to click sign up and hopefully you're going to be able to make an account. Now there might be some issues with the username being uh, unavailable. So if that happens, I want you to put a letter T before your number and that should solve that problem. Now this student is all signed up, so she is going to go in and log in, and she could just type her number, or she could type in her whole email, and she's going to log in. Now it's great because there's no need for me to go and verify my password. It will keep all the blabbers that I've made in the past. So the next step is to go get a picture. And I'm going to use Mrs. Holmes's website and I'm going to use this search engine called Kittle. It's Google, but it's for kids appropriate for school. And we don't need to worry about anything inappropriate coming up on the search results. So it's a preference that you please use that while you're in school searching for images, especially. So in the image search, I'm going to type the name of the person that I want to blabberize and search for that person's name and we should get some pictures that pop up and we're just going to be patient because it looks like Mrs. Holmes's computer is going kind of slow right now. Now while we are away I actually changed my search field. I'm going to go ahead and click the picture that I want this is not Ella Fitzgerald, this is Elmo, but we're just going to show you this as an example. And I'm going to go find that picture on the screen. And I'm going to right click the picture and save the picture as. Now at school it might say something like save image as, and that's okay. And I want to change the file name to something that makes sense. Don't leave it as the gobbledygook because it'll be harder for you to find later. And just click save. And then I can close this window or I can just go back to my blabberize. And I'm going to start by clicking make. And this is going to ask me how, where I want to upload a picture from. So I'm going to browse my computer and what should happen is it should go right to your picture folder. It looks like at home here it did not go to my picture folder. So I need to get into my libraries and go to pictures. And then I'm going to be able to find that Elmo picture and open it up. And so that's the first step. Now the second step, I'm going to click the arrow, is to go and make the mouth. Now this takes a little bit of practice, but I'm going to click these little circles and I want them to try to kind of line up with where the mouth would be on the person. 
that I'm blabberizing. Now, this big green is where the mouth moves when it's open. So I'm actually going to make this a little smaller. And you'll see how that works. So I'm going to play around with that. It's going to take you a while. I've done it before, so I can do it pretty quickly. And click Next. Now you're going to do a sound. Now let's say you were at home and you don't have a microphone like Mrs. Holmes does. You can just click and it gives you a phone number that you can call. So if you have nationwide long distance like on a cell phone, it's actually like a Long Island number and you can call the number and record your voice, which is kind of cool. But we can do it and we can record from our microphone. And this might override my video right now as I'm doing this, but let's see what happens. So I'm going to click allow if that happens. And as you can see, when I'm talking, it gets bigger and the mouth moves. Now I could delete this and go back and change the mouth if I need to. But what I want to do is click record when I'm ready and just read my two or three sentences. Hi, I'm Elmo. I like to be tickled and I am on Sesame Street. Hit record again to stop. And you notice it changed colors and I can play it to hear what it sounds like. And if I'm happy with it, I can click the next button and click OK. And it I can go back and edit, make another scene, or just simply click save. Now you have to do each of these. So I might do, and then your description, yours might be Black History Month or Harlem Renaissance or something like that. And the tags you can do, it's like a hashtag. So demonstration, Elmo fun. I would mark it. Um, it's not mature. You don't need to worry about that. And I wouldn't make it private because then you can't share it with everybody. So once you save it, you're going to actually um, get a link and I can share it. Um, and it's really awesome because if you click to share, you can send it to Mrs. Holmes and Mrs. Holmes would be happy to upload it onto her website. So what you're going to want to do is write down your ID number right here and come let Mrs. Holmes know your name and I'll have a little chart for you. And I know the beginning part and you'll start to write your ID number down and then I can put a link for everybody's and everybody can watch everybody else's blabbers right from my website. So I can look at my own stuff here and the ones that I make will be here and I can just, if I don't like what I made, I can restart it. So hopefully that's enough basics on how to blabberize and I hope you have fun playing on this awesome free tool that's on the web.